it probably goes without saying that we all want to improve our photography skills. The great thing about photography is that it's a never-ending journey and you will always find yourself learning new things and improving never really stops. And that's why in this video I'm going to give you some tips on how I've improved my macro photography over the years and hopefully they will help you as well. Probably the most important tip is getting to know your camera and lens and also having a good understanding of the main three camera settings and how they work. Being able to enjoy photography without your camera being the main focus of your attention is far more conducive to taking great photos. And the only way to truly know and understand your camera is constant practice and repetition with it. The more practice you get, you will start to notice that your attention will be more focused on your subject, the timing, composition, and the lighting, and you will find greater enjoyment in photography. Some people may think that just getting a new and expensive camera will automatically make their photography a lot better, but that is not the case, especially if you're new to photography. So I recommend just sticking with your current camera until you feel like you got the most out of it and then consider upgrading. Just always remember that the camera doesn't take the photo, the person behind it does. It doesn't matter if it's an entry level DSLR or mirrorless camera, you can take great photos with any camera. Another big tip for wanting to improve your photography is trying different styles. It's very important as a photographer to venture out and not be complacent with one style of photography. That was my biggest problem a few years ago and why I barely saw any improvement in my photography. I would go out and take the same style of photos and barely change my camera settings or editing styles. I just stayed in my comfort zone for the most part. Just remember that there are so many ways you can photograph something, so it's crucial to experiment and try photographing your subjects in different ways than previously. It will help you grow as a photographer in the long run. The best subjects to practice with are the ones you see just about every day. With me, for example, in the late summer till October, green link spiders are very common in my area and I will see them a lot and I'll never not try to photograph them just because I see them all the time. I try and get creative and photograph them differently than previously because I know that there's a lot of ways I could photograph them because every scene is different. So just because you come across a common subject you see every day, I encourage you to always try and photograph it and try a different style or angle. Finding your own style that you want to perfect may take some time, like me, for example, I've been shooting macro for seven years now, and I feel like I am just now starting to figure out my own style that I like the most and the one I want to perfect. I plan on making a whole in-depth video on this topic in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Tip number three is to edit your photos. 
editing your photos will really help build your style and the best way to leave your stamp on the photo is through editing you can develop an editing style that makes your photos feel unique and make people know your work and another reason is because it gives you a second chance to get it right maybe your image is a little underexposed or overexposed editing this can fix the problem as long as it's not too under or overexposed and also you would just be so surprised with how your photo will look once you put some edits on it there's been so many times when i take a photo and not care for it as much but once i put some edits on it it changed my whole view on the photo if you're new to editing then i recommend starting off with using phone apps just because they're simple and easy way to get to know the basics of photo editing but once you get the hang of it then i recommend trying more advanced software such as photoshop or lightroom it will probably take a long time with lots of practice to finally find your editing style that you like the most so that's why it's important to play around with editing and try lots of different things because there's so many ways you can edit an image if you're interested in a more in-depth editing video and how i edit my photos then let me know down in the comments My last tip that will help improve your photography is to stay inspired. Seeing photos from your favorite photographers can be very motivating and inspiring, and it can also be very helpful with helping you grow as a photographer. About five years ago, I thought my photos were pretty good until I started noticing some of the best macro photographers work, and that really honed me and made me realize that I still have a lot of work to do. Something that can possibly help you is to analyze your favorite photographer's work and just ask yourself what makes their photos so good. Maybe it's their editing style or maybe it's their composition and angles. Whatever it is, just make notes on it and try to incorporate it in your own work. Improving your photography is something that can take a long time for some people. Everyone's rate of improvement is different, but as long as you're having fun with your photography, that's all that really matters. Because it's a journey, so it's important to always have a mindset of I can get better and I can improve. Never be complacent with where you're at because you can always get better and learn new things. The biggest key to improvement is to go out and practice as much as you can and to get out of your comfort zone and try new styles to figure out what works best for you. If you like this video, then make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any helpful tips that I didn't mention in the video, then let me and the viewers know down in the comments below. I'll catch y'all in the next one.